Good morning. The pavers have arrived. We are at the job. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my truck so this guy has some room. Do what he needs to do. It looks like it was. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a dump truck. Could I pull it up the truck forward and left, like in that gap? No. No, you're fine right there. Okay. He's going to come in and place some up here. No, I know. I just put it. Yeah. He's going to come in and. Whenever he comes over here, we'll tell him where to put him and then we can go work. Yeah. This thing's coming up easy. Look at that root. That's wild. Yep, big old root. Pushing that thing up. That's wild. Can you tie that up for me? Just to make sure she don't come loose. <coughs> I'll go, I'll go back this way.
pool cool down a little bit. That thing is getting hot. Nice. There was like a teeny more face of it. There's a whole lot of them right here. So when we started, everything was popping up pretty easy, as you can see. And then we started getting into some pavers that would just disintegrate before they actually popped up in a full piece. Um, these things were locked down on there. Uh, there's quite a few of them after that first stretch. Pretty much all the rest of them down were not as easy. And uh, I went along with this chipping hammer for a while, and then I said, you know what, let me try the good old hammer and chisel method. And that was working a lot better from the front side. We would uh, put the chisel like kind of on the inside of the pool area and pop back towards the outside of the pool. And we were at least getting the front part knocked off. But I thought it was going to be an easy one. It ended up not being the easiest coping removal. So this whole corner was coming out real easy. And then over there and right here, it ain't so easy. It's just chunk after chunk after chunk. The whole paver doesn't want to pop up. So it's a little more difficult over here. And I'm going to guess it's going to be the same way all the way around that edge. Because it started over there. It's starting right here. And all of this, you can see this root that's coming through right here. This root helped every, helped loosen everything up. And it's damaging the pool deck. So we're going to go ahead and cut out this corner here from right there to right about here so that we can slope this down so that the pavers will match the elevation of that walkway and then these two side paver walkways we have to pull them back and then raise it up so that they'll match there's thin pavers going on top of this pool deck and obviously redoing the coping and the pavers are gonna stop at this line here. They're not going back there. They're gonna come all the way around there and all around the pool deck. But man, it's gonna be a hassle the rest of the way. That's what it's looking like. Switch to the old tried and true method here. The chipping hammer was just annihilating everything. This has been working a little bit better when you can get a gap on your stuff, but we're still gonna have to come through with the chipping hammer and clean stuff up. Oh yeah, it's all moving. have to pull the swim trunks out. <laughs> Pick up all the pieces. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we'll bring a pair tomorrow. Yeah. That's for sure. Alright, so we got done with the hammer expedition. This is what we have left right here. And I gotta start going in on it with the chipping hammer. While Ethan's cleaning up the massive mess that we've made today so far. Let's hope we get some luck and some of this stuff comes up easy. The back end of that is already loose, but the front one is still stuck in the concrete. Can we chip that out so I can pull that out? It'll let me get around with the wheelbarrow a lot easier. Which one? This, the railing. The back part is already loose, like it comes in and out, but the front part of it is still in the concrete. I don't know if we can just chip around it and pick the whole thing so, out. Yeah. This is like pretty, it's like kind of loose, but I think it's got this same little metal thing that this one has. Like right behind it. Yeah. Spin it, maybe? Yeah, like towards you. Oh, it can't, because that's it's like this. It's shaped like that. Is that like a ball? I think you need to go more over here. Like this, maybe? bolted in to the pipe underneath like is that a bolt right there no because that thing should come out it's that ball it's under the concrete Alright, so this was not the most eventful day, but it was just a lot of chipping. Our main goal is just to demo the coping today, and we got that done. Uh, it was a little bit harder than I expected when I first started out because of the easy you know, stretch that we had at the beginning. But we got it done either way. There's nothing else you can do besides get it done. 
So uh, that'll be all for this video, and in the next video, I'm going to demo out that small concrete pad and then pour that concrete pad while Jose and Alfredo start doing the new coping and then grouting the new coping. So I will see you guys in the next one.